Hi, my name is Michelle Bachman. I'm from Minnesota's 6th Congressional District. Recently, we've just had information come to light that's absolutely outrageous. People all across America are asking Congress to repeal Obamacare, and if we can't repeal it, to at least defund it. But this is what we've discovered. When Obamacare was passed by Speaker Pelosi, Harry Reid, and President Obama last March 21st, contained in that bill was funding for Obamacare of $105 billion. Practically no member of Congress even knew that $105 billion of funding was contained. This is absolutely outrageous to put a bill before members of Congress and they don't even know that $105 billion is contained in the bill. This is legislative fraud that's been perpetrated by the President, Speaker Pelosi, and by Harry Reid. It's an outrage and we demand an answer from Nancy Pelosi. Until we can succeed in repealing Obamacare outright, I think the American people have called on Congress to defund it. They expect us to, but we haven't done it yet. And although the House voted to deny new funding for Obamacare, it has done absolutely nothing to pull back any of the $105 billion, and let me show you what that figure is, that the last Congress and Nancy Pelosi already appropriated for Obamacare when the bill was passed. That's what most people, including many in Congress, don't realize, that the Obamacare law contained $105 billion in appropriations. This is done. This money will be spent unless we pull it back, including what's called an advanced appropriation for future years. Unless we specifically rescind these appropriations, $5 billion will be spent this year, 2011, and another $100 billion will be spent in the next eight years on implementing this monstrosity. The Obama administration and its Health and Human Services Secretary, Kathleen Sebelius, will get to spend that money whether we like it or not. So it's not enough to shut off the spigot of new money for Obamacare. We also need to drain the pool of money it already received.